Hey everybody, today we are looking at scale and scale factor. What's similar, what's different, and how do we go and figure out how to solve it? Are you ready? Here we go. All right, it's time to jump onto the scale because we are talking about scale drawings. Yes, no, we are not gonna go and jump on a scale, uh, but we are gonna talk about uh, scale drawings today. And this is one of the more fun lessons and this is going to be really utilizing our idea of uh, ratios. So we got to keep in mind all the things that we've learned about ratios. And uh, another thing I want for you to be thinking of, to put it into kind of perspective, this is, I don't know if I'm kind of dating myself right now, but um, um, for a little bit of a, of a shock, I'm a little bit older than you probably. And I used to use maps. Yeah, we didn't have Google Maps way back when, or Apple Maps, whatever you use. We used old school maps, and we had like a legend on it, and you had to read it and measure and, and figure things out, and uh, you got lost a lot more <laughs> than you do nowadays. So um, that's what I want you to keep in mind is uh, maps and using that. So um, a couple things here. So we need to have some demen or some uh, definitions, I should say. So the very first thing is what is scale? So the first thing that we need to know is that if we had to go and define scale, it gives basically the ratio comparing something. So scale gives the ratio. And we are comparing. So the ratio comparing two things. So, an example would be, I'm going to give you the map right now. Should I try and draw a little map? Sure, why not? So here's your, here's your map that you're, you're, you've folded and you're kind of looking at and that sort of thing. And you basically have, I don't know, you have an X here and then you got to go do 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 and you have to end up at this other X, right? And basically, inside here, I'm going to like blow this up. It says one centimeter on this map is going to be equal to, I don't know, 50 kilometers. Okay, so we're, we're giving a ratio that we're comparing two things. And what we really need to do is where can I put a little thing here? We have to really make sure that we be consistent in what we're comparing. So what does that mean? Well, let's just go to an example because that is gonna make things a little bit easier. Okay, I think it's gonna make it a little bit easier. So let's go and get rid of this. Oops, I'll get rid of that, there we go. And uh, let's go back to that idea of the map. So here is, <laughs> should I draw my map of the world? Nah. Here's, here's North America. So here's North America. I always, that's North America. This is Victoria Island. It's like half the size of Canada. And I'm going to put down where I'm from. I'm from right there. So that, we're going to say that is Vancouver. As many of you know, I'm Canadian. And we're going to go travel, and we're going to travel all the way here. And we'll call that uh, Toronto. This isn't very exciting. We're going Vancouver to Toronto. That's a long trip. That's a long trip. So this is a map. And basically, just maybe we do something like this. And we're going to say this was seven centimeters. Now we are also given a scale on the map. And the scale on the map, well this is not going to be honest at all. It said one centimeter is 500 kilometers. Not a very good scale. But anyways, that's what it's saying. And I want to know how far is it? So how far? 
from Vancouver to Toronto. That's what I want to know. So how do you do it? How do you go and you figure this out? So step one, Ooh, here we go, step number one. It's a little bit of a thinking, it's not really a math thing yet. Um, identify what's missing. So identify, I'm gonna put down just the question or what's missing. Because in scale questions, there's always one thing that is missing. So for this one, it's pretty obvious. You're missing how far it is from Vancouver to Toronto. Cool. Step two. Yes, it's getting exciting now. Step two. You're going to set up a proportion. So you can see how this is all building on each other. And I'm going to put a little note on this one. So these are things to keep in mind. Keep the same things, I'm putting things in quotation marks because the things are going to vary according to the question you're answering. So keep the same things on top or the bottom. Okay, so that's what you want to be doing. And finally, step three, is cross multiply and solve. Sometimes you don't have to cross multiply, but sometimes you do. Sometimes it's really easy to do that just by looking at some patterns, but uh, for the most part, this always works. So cross, multiply, and solve. Woohoo! So, should we go do it? Let's get at it. Let's get orange. Let's get the color orange out. So, um, so what do we know? We know this. We know the scale. We know how far it is on the actual map which is pretty exciting. And we don't know this part. And when you don't know something, what do you make it? You make it X. So let's do it. So I'm gonna say like this, I'm gonna set it up. So I'm gonna say one centimeter. I'm gonna be very, very um, particular in the colors I'm using. So one centimeter was five, hundred kilometers. Okay, so I've just compared it. I'm kind of making a little comparison there. And I know that this is going to be equal to what else do I know? Well, I know I have, like, what is this top part? These are the centimeters on the map. So I know I've traveled seven centimeters or the distance is seven I've gone and measured it. Imagine you went and measured it seven centimeters. And what I don't know is, of course, the x kilometers. So notice what I've done here. I've kept the centimeters on top, and I put the kilometers on the bottom. So far, so good? Yeah? Now, I'm going to go and cross multiply and solve. So when I cross multiply this one, this is going to be, you know, pretty easy for cross multiplying especially when I have the one right there, right? So when you do this kind of thing, I'm gonna basically see that I'm gonna get the 500, 500 times the seven, and that's gonna tell me my missing number. So 3,500, what is it? It's 3,500 kilometers. And that is how far I am going to be. Does that make sense? Is that not too bad? Great. So you're going to be getting that. Now, that's kind of the tried and true example. There's some other things that you need. Whoops, whoa, that's crazy. Let's get rid of all the stuff. There we go. Um, there's another thing that we need to know. So that was scale, but you also have a scale factor. So scale factor is a little bit different but very similar. So scale factor is basically scale when there's no units. So a scale factor is just simply scale 
with no units. Because if you have no units, you can assume they're the same. So it's a little bit different when you, you have that. So you have to kind of understand that if you do have something in the same uh, units, then you can just have what the scale is. So you could say like 1 to 4 or 6 to 10 to go and figure it out. So let's go and do an example of this. So here's my example. There's a, uh, a scale model of the Death Star. So there's a scale model. And the scale model of the Death Star. It's not a very big one, Death Star. Is uh, 10 centimeters. So it's 10 centimeters. The actual Death Star Who knows? I, I've heard like the, the actual Death Star, like the amount of people who are actually living on the Death Star before it blew up, which really was a catastrophe if you think about it. Like think of all the lives that were lost. Yeah, we all cheered. Um, the actual Death Star, just to make um, this to be super easy, is what we're going to say is... <laughs> um, uh, I want to make this realistic, but I don't want to make this realistic for number sense. Uh, we'll say it's a thousand centimeters. Uh, no, a thousand meters? A thousand meters. A thousand meters tall? A kilometer? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, oh, I forgot to say, this is, is 10 centimeters tall. I'm talking about the... There we go. So it's a kilometer tall. Does that make sense? A kilometer? That's pretty tall. That's still pretty tall. It's probably still too small. Okay, so um, that's what we know. So I want to know, the question is, like, what is the scale of the model? So what's the scale? So I've been given the information, now I want to know what's the scale of the actual model. My pen is not working very well today. So let's go and just kind of um, set it up so you have the, the model and you have that divided by the actual, right, the actual Death Star. That's what you kind of have. And here you have 10 centimeters. And you then have a thousand meters. So if I ask you what the scale is, so the scale is obviously 10 over a thousand, that would simplify to 1 to 100, is 1 centimeter to 100 meters. So that is your scale. You have two different things going on right now. You have centimeters and you have meters. So just to make, oops, get a different color. So you have two different things going on. You've got this and this. Two different units. We're coming to the main point here, right? So two different units. Two different units. Okay. But now the, the the following question, so that was question number one. Um, question number two is what's the scale factor? Ooh. Remember, to be a scale factor, you cannot have any different units. So how are you going to fix that? Oops. Man, I'm not liking my pen today. So what's the scale factor now? Um, the key word here, if you're doing little, you know, really awesome notes, is is this part here, which is the scale factor. What we're kind of talking about it's a little bit different. So to figure out what the scale factor is, so how are you going to go and basically eliminate it into um, inches? Well, you need to know a couple of little different things. Is how many centimeters? 
how many centimeters are in a meter. Now, not everybody knows this, but I'm, I'm hoping most people do. So a little hint. So a little hint. So a little hint. Uh, one centimeter is, actually I shouldn't say that, I should say one meter is a hundred centimeters. I'm going to set this up. Let's set this up like this. So let's go and do uh, one. So go back to our original one. One centimeter is a hundred meters. So far, so good. And then I'm going to go and keep it kind of like this. I'm going to say one centimeter is a hundred centimeters. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go, um, not a hundred, uh, 1,000 meters is how many centimeters? So I times that by a hundred. So I'd have a lot of zeros there. So I've gone and kind of just multiplied there. So a hundred meters I know that scale right here is like that. Raise that on a couple of zeros. And then what I can go and do is I can go and eliminate my centimeters like this. And now my actual scale is 1 to, scale factor is 1 to 10,000. 1, can I fit it in? There we go. It's 1 to 10,000. So you have two things here. You have the scale, one centimeter is 100 meters. And then you have the scale factor, which is eliminating all the units, is one to 10,000. Thanks everybody for tuning in for another edition of Math with Mr. Douglas and Math Jedi. Hopefully you've been able to go and figure out all of your scale drawing needs and questions. And if you ever don't have a phone and can't use Google Maps, you now know how to use a real map. Until next time, have a good day.